Hey YouTube, Ben Whitford here from Ben Whitford Fitness. And before I go into the main part of my video, I thought I'd just tell you a bit, bit more about myself, really. So, at the moment, I'm on a summer internship working for EDF Energy. Um, I'm actually working at this power station here in Lancaster called Haitian One. So, if you near Lancaster, shout out to you. I worked for them for EDF Energy in their headquarters in Gloucester for a year straight after school. Um, and then I've done one year at university. Uh, so this is the summer holidays now, I'm doing a summer internship. Um, I've been there for seven weeks, I've got one week left, so looking forward to going home really and see my family. Um, so yeah, I've been to the gym about seven times in the last five days, so I'm pretty fucking tired. Um, it's currently Friday afternoon, so the work is, the week is done. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and drive myself <laughs> to the gym to do a chest and tricep workout, so I hope you enjoy. So I started off with the with just uh, benching the bar. Um, I didn't actually show this because the for some reason the uh, camera's all fuzzy. So this the, the picture wasn't that good. So this is just forty kilograms. I think I did 12, 12 reps. Um, and what I tend to do when I do most of the compound movements really is start light. So here I'm starting with the bar. Go to forty. Um, go up to my max, which at the moment's eighty five kilograms. That is. Um, so kind of, the reps start high, um, weight low, and then that kind of goes up and the reps the reps kind of go down. And then once I've hit my max, I'll go down to like 65 kilograms and just just do as many as I can until to failure, really. Um, so here's 60 kilograms. I think I did eight reps of this. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I was very tired. This is... Second chest workout of the week. Um, so yeah, I have to use moving my hips up a lot. <laughs> the camera angle isn't that good. I apologise for that. Uh, I think this is eighty-five. Wait, eighty? No, this is eighty-five. I think. Yeah. So once I done that, I basically went down to sixty-five and did um, and to failure. So my second exercise was these chest dips. I always start off. I don't know what the fuck those guys are doing in the background. Anyway, um, yeah, I start off just no weight, and then just, I think I did roughly 12. And then I put, in the next clip, I put a 10 kilogram, 10 kilograms in between my legs. Um, as you can see, um, I'm not sure how many here I got. But I, I basically do this each time to failure. Um, it sometimes hurts my wrist and my shoulders doing this, but... Um, I only do four sets, absolutely max, so usually by the time I'm in the fourth set, it's it's not too bad. So yeah, I did four sets of that. Uh, I think this is, uh, this is my second set of incline uh, dumbbell pre press. Um, yeah, I did, again, I did four of this. I, I just remember feeling so tired here. Um, and I had a pre-workout. I should didn't. I remember going to the shop and... And getting some energy drinks, I was so tired. But um, yeah, just being being on a caloric deficit does make it definitely makes it so much harder. <laughs> this is my first proper one, so I'm really feeling feeling tired. Not used to it really. Um, so then I decided to go on the triceps, uh, doing these skull raises. Skull raises. Yeah, uh, it's important to make sure that elbows stay exactly still, and when you lower the bar, it goes onto your head. I see a lot of people kind of push as the bar goes down; it goes behind their heads, and they're using more more their back and their core. But you want to make sure this is obviously a really light weight, but you want to make sure the your elbows are kind of locked in place, and just you're just moving from your elbows onwards, um, and that ensures you're just working your triceps. Because um, that's obviously ultimately what this is about. And just in general, guys, um, you know I was saying it's important to keep your elbows still and make sure your your uh, the bar goes over your over your forehead and when it comes down. The, it's so important to get form. So I see so many people that aren't usually that big, just trying to lift as much weight as they can, and they'll just move random muscles just to get that weight up. So, for example, if you're doing skull raises, they'll just kind of like kick their feet and just. Um, just kind of go crazy and go go wild just to lift that weight. Where it's so much more important to have a nice control of movement and really work on that and, and tire out the muscle. 
and that's the best way you're going to make gains. So I did this, I did four, four sets of that, and I went on to tricep extension. Um, yeah, so here, just making sure, I, when I first started going to the gym, I, my uh, elbows are all over the place, but now I think I've uh, improved at that. So you just got to make sure your elbows, if uh, preferably they'll be tucked in, but as long as they're kind of not moving too much, um, and you can feel feel it in your triceps, that, that's all good. Um, yeah, I did uh, did another four, four sets of this, and that was triceps done. And after this clip, I'll actually go, for some reason, I thought I'd done four exercises on my chest, but I didn't, so I, I did three exercises, then did triceps, then went back to the chest. So the next clip after this is me finishing off chest. Um, yeah. This is like kind of my average uh, chest session. Um, and it's really important to make sure you're not just doing the same exercises, especially not with the same weight. So it's, the title of this is hitting your chest from many angles, and that's what I'm doing. So I've got these cables, so just different sort of exercise for your chest. I've got the bench press. They're all different, and they hit your, your chest at different angles. And for cable flies, what I'm doing now is you shouldn't be touching your arms in the middle. They should either go past each other, like I'm doing there, or they should just stop just before you touch because to ensure the tension stays on. Thanks for watching guys. If you do have any questions, please email benwithfitness at gmail.com and the links to my social media are down below.